Hello and welcome. This is Michael with the July 2022 reading for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do hope that this video finds you well and in good spirits. For those of you who are brand new to this channel, my name is Michael. I use tarot and astrology to figure out what kind of month you will have, what sort of themes and lessons will be coming up, as well as strategies for dealing with them. I have all of my links in the description box down below for personal readings and Reiki sessions if you're interested in working together. Um, I really do appreciate all of your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. It does help this channel grow and allows me to continue putting out these messages. So if you are brand new here and this reading is helpful to you, definitely consider hitting like and subscribe. Again, it does help the channel grow and it helps YouTube know that these messages are reaching people. So. The cards I have on the table, Libra, I, I remember last month we had kind of an intense energy for you, and we have the Six of Wands coming up in the past for you this month. And so it feels like whatever it was that you went through, you survived. You made it through. You were victorious. You overcame something that was potentially very, very challenging, and actually feels like it helped you find a bit of your fire again. There was something here with the King of Pentacles where I feel like you actually got in touch with this grander scheme for your life, or really tried to figure out some sort of long-term picture or big picture view of your life here and what it is that you really want to do, what your empire looks like. And this is very interesting to me. We've had Venus, your ruling planet, in the sign of Gemini, and Venus represents kind of this or I'm sorry, Gemini for you kind of represents this bigger picture, whether this is education or spirituality or travel, anything that helps broaden your horizons. And I really do feel like, Libra, you have figured out this long-term plan or you started thinking about things in the long term. And that's something that's going to be very helpful for you this month. What is it that you really want in the grand scheme of things? What is it that you're really working towards? What is it that you're really trying to build? I think this is going to be very helpful for you, especially with the Knight of Pentacles, um, to figure out what sort of direction you should be going in, how you should be utilizing your energy, and doing this very tactfully and um, responsibly. We do have Venus entering into Cancer towards the middle of this month, around the 17th, and this really is focused very much on career and work. So you might be kind of thinking about the big picture of your life and then finally putting things into action or really focused on kind of your role in the world at large or, or your work or career or the thing you are contributing to the world. This doesn't always have to be work either. Um, but I, I do feel like there's kind of this planning stage that you are in. And I feel like you're working very hard towards something. You're being very diligent this month as well. And there is a lot of earth sign energy. We have Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, especially Taurus and Virgo here on the table. Um, so if you have any of those placements or you're working with anyone, these might actually be people who you can collaborate with. Um, we do have Mars entering into Taurus at the, on, uh, around the 5th of this month. And we have Mercury entering Cancer the same day. So again, remember, Cancer is your career, it's your role in the world, it's your public image. So there is a lot of focus and a lot of communication that is happening there for you this month. We do have Mars in Taurus, which represents transformation, change, power, other people's assets. Um, so this can include things like debts or joint bank accounts. Um, really, anything that you don't necessarily talk about with other people. Taurus energy represents your 8th house, which is really kind of a hard house to describe in a concise way because it can rule over things like sexuality, death, transformation, again, all the good stuff that people are usually too afraid to talk about. So really going there this month, doing, uh, doing this hard work, doing this shadow work, maybe even going into facing your fears, that, that's something that's very important as well. But I think you have this very grounded energy to you this month, and it feels very, very different from last month. It feels like you're finally getting your footing again, and you're moving towards something. We do have a full moon in Capricorn, and this is happening around the 13th, which can represent a change or completion with your family or home, or maybe this is involving your lineage or early upbringing. Um, this full moon is actually forming a, a conjunction with Pluto. It's 
coming together with Pluto and Capricorn as well. So there's this major transformation that is taking place for you, and it's it's taking place kind of in your roots, your your core, in your soul. And so there's a lot of power that you are tapping into here. And there is a lot of um, kind of change this month for you as well. There's a lot of things that are just transforming. And again, with the Six of Wands, I feel like you've already overcome things uh, coming into this month. I feel like you are already rising above, and you're going to continue doing that throughout this month as well. So whatever it is that you're building towards, I feel like you had to kind of change um, your plan. You had to change your course. But I feel like there's going to be a lot developing here, and it's just going to require some diligence and work here. We do have the Three of Cups. And this is technically showing up as a challenge for you. And there may be some sort of miscommunication, especially with friends or just feeling disconnected from people, trying to figure out where do I get my support, who supports me, who are my friends, who are my people. That might be something that comes up quite a bit. And that actually makes perfect sense because we are talking about Leo energy at the end of this month. Uh, Leo represents your 11th house, your house of friendships social circle, circles, as well as networking and communities and your hopes and wishes. And so there is a lot of focus on friendships, especially towards the second half of this month when the sun is entering Leo on the 22nd. And then we actually have a new moon in Leo as well on the 28th, which is going to be a beautiful time for you to manifest um, support, especially through other people. We do have the strength card in the future as well, which incidentally is also Leo energy. So I feel like you are really figuring out just how strong you are. And I think there really is this thing where if there's conflict in your social group or, or social circle or, or with friends, it's almost like you're the strong one this month, Leo, or Libra. Interesting that I called you Leo. Maybe you have some Leo placements. Um, but again, this is just Leo energy with the strength card. I do want to clarify some of this energy for you. Um, what else do we have happening for Libra? Show us clearly, please. Some important things to kind of keep in mind. Um, we do have... Jupiter in Aries going retrograde the same day as the new moon. And Aries is your opposite sign, so this has a lot to do with relationships and partnerships. I'm actually getting something specifically like with business partnerships. We actually have your energy here with the Queen of Swords. Could also be another air sign, uh, Gemini, Aquarius, or another Libra. Potentially a Virgo as well. We do have you working very hard towards something with the Eight of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles. Your hard work is paying off. I want you to definitely take that away from this reading. Um, but we do have the Ten of Wands here as well. I think the challenge for you is that you're doing all of these things by yourself, and you really need to delegate some of these responsibilities or some of these tasks. You might actually be so successful with something, but it ends up creating more work for you. And so you may very well need to figure out how you can delegate these tasks, but I feel like you're really doing everything that you can to do things by yourself and to, to be successful. Um, which is interesting because I, I feel like there is this need for partnership for you, especially towards the end of this month. Um, but with Jupiter going retrograde, maybe this is about you kind of coming back to yourself a little bit and, and reflecting on what it is that you really want out of partnerships or relationships, whether this is platonic or romantic. Um, I'm honestly just getting a very self-directed energy, actually. Um, let's clarify this a little more. What else do we have for Libra? Yikes. Okay. A lot of cards here. So I'm getting a Three of Swords. I feel like some of you are still dealing with some heartache or recovering from some heartache, and maybe that's why it's hard for you to open yourself up to other people. Um, and Libra, honestly, this whole year, 2022, is really about you getting your ducks in a row and, and really 
building yourself up and, and kind of making space for love in 2023. So maybe there is this thing where you're really focused on uh, your health or your career or your work or your home or, or something else that's really demanding your attention. Maybe some of you are in relationships, but you're just really focused on your work right now. So there's not a lot of emphasis in this. Um, this could also be your partner it is working very hard on something. Um, that's actually a potential way to think about this. But honestly, Libra, I'm really feeling like this is about you and, and you working very hard towards something and your hard work is paying off. And I, I feel like even though we do have the Ten of Wands here, which is about delegation, I feel like some of you are just being very stubborn and you're trying to get everything done and you're trying to do a lot by yourself. I feel like you'll actually succeed, but honestly, it's not really what you want to do anyway. And so I, I would encourage you to open your heart up to asking for help, especially from your friends. Yeah, you're working very, very hard with the Seven of Pentacles here. And I, I do actually interpret this more as you harvesting the fruits of your labor. This will pay off again. And I, I'm very much getting a career emphasis here. Yeah, we have the chariot. This is cancer energy, again, which is your career, your your role in the world, your public image. And just persevering. Moving towards something, using your willpower. Tell me about this three of swords and three of cups. We have the queen of cups. This could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or just someone who was almost a bit of a psychic vampire or manipulative. Very often the Queen of Cups represents someone who is very attuned to emotions, but in the shadow aspect can be quite manipulative. On the other hand, this could also be someone who lacks boundaries. And maybe there's some sort of hurt there as well. Maybe the reason that you're being so closed off is because you've lacked good boundaries in the past. Either way, I, I do feel like there is someone here where there was a painful dynamic, there was a painful relationship here, and there was this lack of boundaries, and now it, it's almost like you, you made the mistake of thinking that having no boundaries meant being close with someone. And that could be with a friend, that could be with a partner, that could just be life in general or relationships in general for you. That might be some advice right now. Um... Two of Cups, yeah, this feels like a romantic relationship, to be honest, or just a very intimate relationship with the Two of Cups. But you're getting it done. Whatever it is that you're working on, I almost wonder if you're, like, using work to distract yourself. And to be honest, I, I don't think you'll be able to do that successfully in the long run, but you will be successful with the work that you're doing. It's like you're trying to prove your worth to yourself. And so I really feel like self-love here is very, very important. The Ace of Swords. Communication, new ideas. I do feel like there are some new opportunities here. There are messages that are coming in. Maybe someone is reaching out from the past whether this is a friend or a partner, and you're just very on guard, and you're kind of just focusing on what it is that you need to focus on, and if that's the case, I kind of agree with you. I, I think you should just focus on this thing that you are working towards, because I feel like you will be successful, but it does require your diligence. It does require your effort. But you are building your empire here. Yeah, Two of Swords. You are kind of closed off to this Ace of Swords, this message coming in. And, and it's like you're holding off before responding. You're, you're thinking things through, which is what's different. 
you're not just speaking your mind anymore. You're not just like being super reactive. You're really sitting with yourself first and figuring out how it is that you feel in situations before speaking up. Or before trying to change someone's behavior or change a situation. You're really checking in with yourself and I think that's the strength card here. And again, with this new moon in Leo, it really is a great time for you to attract support. This is happening at the end of the month on the 28th. And there's going to be a lot of very profound transformations. And there could even be some windfall, actually. That There could be even more abundance that comes from an unexpected place. And that could very much be happening uh, towards the end of the month as well. Maybe there's even some conflict over this, these finances that are coming in. But overall, Libra, I, I feel like you're really finding your footing again, and I, I think your hard work is going to be paying off this month. Um, so just keep doing what you're doing. Keep focusing on this. Don't, don't lose sight. Um, and I think you'll have greater clarity with how to deal with people or a specific party, um, probably more towards next month in August, in, in Leo season. And there could even be some support that's coming in around that time for you as well through other people. Anyways, Libra, those are all the messages I am getting for you right now. I do hope that this was helpful. Consider hitting like and subscribe and let me know in the comment section down below how this is resonating for you. What is it that you are working on so hard? I feel like this will pay off, so that's very, very exciting. Anyways, Libra, I'm wishing you a very happy July. Feel free to watch the other videos for your moon or rising sign. There may be messages there for you as well. And I am sending you all my love and blessings. Take care. Bye.